John, you need to remind me uh, at the beginning of next week, like you're supposed to do at the beginning of this week, to get with the producer of the show so we can change our music. Uh, well, A, okay. we have a producer, <laughs> and B, it's my job to remind you of things. Yeah, because I'll never remember. <laughs> yeah, well, neither will I. Okay, folks, you're listening to Santa Cruz's Hometown Station, AM 1220, KHTS. And we're listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, the Radio Digest version of the Santa Cruz Gazette and Free Classified. All you need to know to be in the know. You're like, you know, like however many for the year on that one, yeah. by the way. Congratulations. Five for five. You know what we should have done? What? We should put this to Mr. Music. Mr. Music, come up with our theme song. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's probably still listening. Call him back. <laughs> we'll get him back on the line. But he, he did say something really interesting. I had forgotten all about this. Doug, you know what next weekend is? No. Valentine's I'm Day. I'm one man. day at a time, baby. One Val- day at a time. Valentine's Day. you got to start planning for your wife, right? What? You don't do anything for your wife for Valentine's okay, Day? Okay, first of all, when is it? Gee, it's the same day every year. I know. What February, day is it? February 14th. I know. What day is it? be Friday. Like in a week? In a week. Oh, my goodness. What are you going to do? Do you I do anything for No. I, I can't think past tomorrow. Uh, you guys have been married too long, haven't you? Yeah, almost 30 years. So you don't do anything for Valentine's Day? Nope. Coach Kevin, help him out. <laughs> you need our life coach, Coach Kevin. Is Hopefully he, he's on the line. He's he not be... on the line, is he? Oh, of course. I oh, said. I wait, time. Was he listening to this? He was listening to that. You weren't listening, were you? Yes, I was. Oh, Kev, 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 help me, man. Well, um, you know, it just depends what you want out of your relationships is what you get. I think so... I, th- I think he's lost that love and feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get it back. That's the good news. Help me, Coach. You know, um, you just have to be a little creative. Uh-oh. Yeah. And first of all, you got to be—you have to have a vision for what it is you want. If you don't know what you want, you know, the universe doesn't know what you want. God doesn't know what you want. You know, so what do you want to get out of your relationship? What do you want um, oh. your relationship to look I've like? I've seen steam coming out of Doug's ears. He's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels are turning. I just want the shoes put back in the closet. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> oh, hopefully your That's wife's good. not listening. You know, <laughs> I got a uh, feeling you may find your shoes on the around, front lawn. Been, you know, you need to increase your vision. You've been around John too long. You need to <laughs> raise your expectations. Oh, I have no expectations. I'm never disappointed. <laughs> Ah, that's one uh, okay, maybe we sh- way of looking at life. Coach Kevin, maybe we shouldn't dwell on John and I. Let's dwell on our listeners. What What would you recommend? <laughs> well, I think there's always good things you can do to spice up any relationship, whether you're married or whether you're in a dating relationship. Um, sometimes things get a little stale. And um, so we we do some games that are that are very easy to do. Anybody can do them, and um, they can help bring intimacy back into a relationship that has strayed. And a lot of times intimacy is lost because of, of uh, conflict and, and hurt and pain in, in a relationship. And just, and just time in everyday life, right? Right. Just the, the stress of life can cause people's relationships to just uh, kind of be taken for granted. And so I think that it's, it's helpful if you uh, stop every now and then and just say to your uh, special or significant other, have I told you today, dot, 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 and then you fill in the blank. And so you can say, honey, have I told you today how beautiful you are? And no, just wait. actually, Kevin, you haven't. I've been waiting all day by the phone. Shh, not you, John. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to our listeners. See, oh, see sorry. How, see how hungry he was for that? <laughs> that's the same that's the same way your significant others will be. It's a great, it's a great uh, way to just break the ice. You say, "Have I told you today how uh, how important you are to me, or how how much I appreciate your hard work and all that you do for taking care of the kids, or for going to work as early as you do, or whatever it is?" So there's, a coach- thousand, there's a thousand things, but just say, "Have I told you today?" And then the answer is usually, "Why no? Tell me about it." <laughs> so, coach, coach. Should yes. the, the lady say the same thing to the men? Do, do we need the same affirmation? It goes back and forth, absolutely. It's yeah. a, that's why I say it's a game. You do it that way. Have I told you today how, you know, and she'll say, have I told you today how handsome you are? Have I told you today how much I appreciate you putting your socks in the hamper? Or have putting I, your shoes you know, in the whatever closet. Whatever it is that she's Or putting your for. shoes in the closet, Jeannie, just saying not that I'm judging. <laughs> right, right. So it's... it's it's finding the positive things and focusing on those. All right. So, Coach Kevin, the one I always heard is, you know, oh, it's Valentine's Day. I, I show you I love you throughout the year. Why do I have to do it on a special, one special yeah, day? Yeah, on a company, uh, a holiday that a card company created. 
Well, that's a that's a great excuse. I look at it as an as an opportunity that uh, I can take advantage of because it's out there so much. So if there is an expectation on our culture about it, why not take advantage of doing what you want to do from your heart anyway, which is to give praise to your significant other. Very good one, answer. In one way, shape, or form. Very good answer. I'm going to write that down. So, Coach, okay. can you use the occasion for kind of a reconciliation type thing to get rid of some of the hurt and anger that folks have pent up inside against each other? Well, I think that in- intimacy is blocked when you have those things in any regard. So... If you can use that as a, as a way to say, look, I've really been a jerk lately, or I'm sorry for for yelling at you the other day, or I'm you know I apologize, or please forgive me for sorry, coach, I do, I forgive you. You know all those things, absolutely. Um, it's a great opportunity to um, to uh, share your heart in an open way, and and all you can do is be who you are. You cannot you cannot have too much of an expectation on the outcome. Well, uh, in addition to that, you can only do what you can do. You can't force yeah, you anybody can, to respond back to you the way you want you can't, them to respond. You can't change yeah. anybody else, but all you can do is change how they look in your own eyes. Right. All right, Coach, you're on the line here. You're on the hook. You are. We're putting you on the spot. What are you doing for your significant other for Valentine's Day? Oh, God. Or is it a surprise? Um, I'm, oh, know, there, there, there's your out right there. You could say, say, no, John, it's a surprise. I can't say it. <laughs> You know, and I appreciate that, and I haven't actually thought of something new because every day around here is like Valentine's Day. Oh, good answer. Oh, bravo, bravo. <laughs> see, see we, we actually do this exercise every day, and you can try this, and, and, and it's called a hug commercial. So when you're sitting around watching TV and those commercials come on, just put it on pause on your TiVo, and you have a hug commercial. Now, just... Just a hug can increase the serotonin levels and can help with that forgiveness and everything. Just a, not a three hug, pat on the back type of hug, but a real meaningful hug, a look in the eyes. Wow. And then that can also lead to kiss commercials. Oh. So, you know. <laughs> and then and, you're not watching TV anymore. <laughs> and, and no. And yeah, you got to turn and mute the TV. You got to pause it. You don't let the commercials run while you're doing it. <laughs> and uh, but they really are a way to k- keep that intimacy and that high school feeling in a relationship. Um, so that's just that's one awesome. of the things that, that, that we do. Um, All right, Coach. Hey, listen. Uh, before we we gotta t- we gotta take a break, but we want to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. Say hello to your lovely. Uh, Wife soon to be, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't ask him personal I, stuff. I was just going like out. putting him on the air, putting him on the spot Put on, him the on the air. Spot on the air. All right. Hey, what about you, John? Oh. Uh, all right, you're listening to the Gazette Radio Hour <laughs> with Doug and John on Santa Cruz's hometown station, AM 1220. We'll be right back. Yeah, thanks, we're thanks coach. About John's relationships another time. But, uh, <laughs> thanks, coach. We're, 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 